Paul, we join you off the back of uh, a festival double and a treble at the weekend. You must be uh, on cloud nine. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, great couple of days and uh, finished out the, the week of Cheltenham better than we started it. But uh, I don't know, it was, everything worked out for a finish and then went down to Ballet or on to Limerick and, and rode a treble. So uh, it was very uh, on the cake, I suppose. And um, heading into the week, uh, I guess Vroom Vroom, Va- Vroom Vroom Mag must have been uh, your pick of the week. Yeah, of course. She was kind of the shortest price horse I was riding there. Uh, and she looked the obvious the obvious best chance I had there. Uh, we were very disappointed when, when she got beat, I suppose. Realistically, I probably thought she was going to be my best chance and, and the chance was gone. But... Uh, no, we kept chucking away, and uh, we managed to pull through over on the last day. Yeah, and uh, a sixteen to one and twenty to one double for Willie Mullins uh, with Paul Townend on board. Uh, even you must, even you must have been surprised. Of course, uh, like Arctic Fire, I suppose, top way in the county after being off for so long. Um, if he'd, if he'd run a nice race and even if he'd got there at the last and got tired from there home, you couldn't blame him. Um, but no, he put that on his head and he stuck at it real well and, you know, he, he, he really stuck out his head and tried for me and it, it was great that it, that it happened and it probably gave me a bit more confidence than that bit on Penn Hill and the other partners. Absolutely, yeah, well, uh, Penn Hill was certainly very impressive. Uh, just talk us through it. At what point in the race did you think I'm in with a chance here? Yeah, sure. Like, his jumping is, is, is no secret that uh, he hasn't jumped fluently in the past. So, you know, I knew the last, with, with such a long run from the third last home, uh, and obviously only two hurdles to jump, that if I could get that far in the race without, without having made, made too many mistakes and still being on the right, I had a good chance. Um, when I turned at the top of the hill, I was, I was obviously full of horse. Ended up having to avoid a fall at the second last, but I was straight back on the right limb. It isn't too often you can turn in and be taken up all day, still on the bridle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It must be uh, an, in- an incredible feeling. Um, but straight back to it at the weekend. So, uh, well, do I assume there were much in the way of uh, celebrations on, on Friday evening, or was it just a simple Ryanair flight home? It was a, a simple flight home. Uh, it wasn't actually simple. All the flights were delayed into Dublin, so I wasn't, home, I wasn't home for all hours. And we used to head on to Limerick the next day for for a two-day meeting down there. So, uh, yeah, Friday, Saturday, and were, were, were quiet nights, and uh, we had a bit, bit more to celebrate on Sunday night. Uh, I'm good. I'm glad to hear that uh, you had a celebration on Sunday night. And um, if I could ask you... One's probably quite obvious, but uh, a, a highlight for yourself at Cheltenham uh, and uh, a highlight that you weren't involved in, perhaps. Um, well, obviously for myself, when I was getting a couple of winners on the board, um, I was I was proud. I was very impressed with on the saw. Um, I thought that was a hell of a performance and. Uh, no, it was nice to see him back in the winners' enclosure in Cheltenham, as it was York Hill, who who had so many doubters and he quieted them, you know, on, on the big day. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And York Hill, obviously, I, I know a horse that you were very impressed with at Aintree last year, and uh, hopefully uh, you might pick up a, a few more like that at uh, the the Spring Festivals coming up. Uh, a very exciting time for you, I'm sure. Please God, no, yeah, it's, 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 I suppose these festivals all come hot and heavy now from here on, on, on top of each other, so uh, just try and keep them one piece and, and hopefully we can pick up a couple of good spares at a couple of the meetings as well. So uh, good luck uh, with uh, Aintree and Punchestown coming up, uh, exciting times ahead. Cheers, thank you.